everybody! Fucking... <laughs> this is a news program where we discuss current events with traffic that we've all gathered. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. Yes. Very happy to see my friends. Oh, I'm so happy to be back with you. So much. Yes. Michael, so much. You I'm really lost to see you. She tracked the world's world. I'm really great to see you. Yes. She is looking beautiful. Maria LaRosa is here as well. Sometimes he has to be a man about the world. You know, sometimes you have to let him out of the nest. <laughs> Unprotected. Yeah. <laughs> he came back in one piece. Yeah. Okay, I'm so happy. Um, I just and don't even give me a word. My check out is fabulous. <laughs> Take a look. Hi, Maria. Little, oh, hey. <laughs> hey. We're happy to have our friend back. I love it. I, have, have we poked him? Is he real? He's yes. real. This is it. Okay. Okay. This is as real as it gets. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. We're so happy and happy Monday. Uh, a little messy out there, so we're happy to see Michael's bright <laughs> smile, at least. That's the brightest thing you're going to see all day because of the clouds. We have in Elmsford, New York, the chance for some more snow showers, but generally gray. Look how much colder we get by midweek. Look how much warmer we get. By the end of the week, the ups and downs, I've got more of those in the 10-day. Thanks, Marie. Also ahead on Today in New York. But otherwise, not much else. Will you look to the north, see that little swirl of clouds right there? That's another system that's going to dive on down, get close but uh, not succeed in bringing precipitation. It's gonna help reinforce the chill. So as far as additional precipitation chances this week, we really don't see it until Friday. And at that point, we're also going to be well above freezing. So you get the idea. This may be the last chance to see some snowflakes for a while here with our hour by hour forecasts. Uh, and they're few and far between. I do want to put this in motion just to kind of show you day after day one other thing that we're dealing with. The cloud cover, you see maybe some breaks tomorrow afternoon. But for the most part, 
I don't have in the forecast a clear blue sunny sky, which we have been lacking uh, really for the last week or so. So we're going to stay pretty gray as well. 38 degrees right now, a bit of a breeze. We've got that feels like temperature at 31. That's going to be something to keep an eye on for you later this afternoon. The wind's kicking up a bit, making it feel extra chilly. We'll be about 41. up to 42 but those north winds will start to kick in about 10 to 20 miles per hour later this morning and into the midday and then ease a bit tonight but will be plenty cold all on our own down to 31 degrees so we stay in the 30s tomorrow, chilly and dry. Just a high of 36 in the city, 37 in Poughkeepsie and Merrick. And we get another day entrenched in the cold here. Mostly cloudy and gray skies as we get into Wednesday. It is by Thursday, the start of February, believe it or not, that we get a little bit of a bump, mid-40s. Along with that, a chance for some rain showers. This system does have enough power behind it to bring us the chill and it sticks around for a couple days. So we get the winter chill without the winter precip Saturday, Sunday, and into the early part of next week with high temperatures staying only in the mid thirties, lows down below freezing for a stretch. All right, 449 now, and that's your 10 day, Emily. And that's your 10 day, Emily. Good morning, everyone. Monday morning, it is January 29th. I'm Darlene Rodriguez. I'm Michael Gargiulo. Thrilled so to be happy back to see with you. all my friends. We yes. missed our Michael. Oh, well, I'm, I missed you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Emily West is here watching, unfortunately, wet roads once again, nothing changes. And Sunbeam Forest where Hilla Rosa is here. With a Two weeks weather. to rush back. I know, mm -hmm. he came back. He was like, right. what? I know. I know. Well, we're happy to see you. Nothing has changed as far as weather. It is still, as far as snowfall, abysmal out there. For snow lovers, I know, I know. it's pretty rough. But uh, as far as the morning commute, I guess we'll take it. It's a little bit easier in that regard. Got some wet roadways, but if you were watching last evening, this is all that's left of our winter weather advisories. This is Western Ulster County for some late additional snow accumulation, uh, higher elevations. We're seeing some snowflakes spattered around the area, including parts of the Hudson Valley through Putnam County, Dutchess County, coming in through Rockland County too. But it's rain showers from the city, Long Island, American Islip now in the mid 30s. So you want the rain gear early on, if anything, some sprinkles out there and then just kind of gray skies. Temperatures holding into the mid 30s through this morning. The rain chances go away. The winds kick up a bit, so it is going to be breezy, blustery by noontime, 41 degrees. But there's north winds about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and we do say pretty gray the rest of the day. If you catch a glimpse of the sun, count yourself lucky this evening. 6 p.m. temperature falling down into the upper 30s near 40. All right, 501. Let's see what else is slowing you down, Emily. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, some people going to have to to start the Monday morning commute trying to get around an overturned tractor trailer. Use ex extra caution. We do have some wet roadways going to be improving though as the day goes on. So the evening commute looking dry, but temperatures are dropping. We'll be below freezing by tomorrow morning and in it for a couple days. I'll talk about the warm up and another big cool down into next week in the 10 day. All right, Maria, thank you so much. Also radar through parts of Fairfield and Westchester County. So from Mount Pleasant up toward Ramapo and Monroe, you may see some of those snowflakes fly. Also toward Emayapak and into Dutchess County. 
But again, this is moving on through pretty quickly. So another couple of hours of some of the wet conditions, and that should be just about it. But it is going to be enough, this round of wet weather, to drop our temperatures. So we're just going to feel a lot colder heading into tomorrow and Wednesday with highs just into the 30s. Still technically warm enough, uh, too warm for snowfall. So where are we looking by the time we get to February? Believe it or not, it's going to be much warmer by about 10 degrees into the mid-40s Thursday and Friday. And another system Friday, that's going to knock our temperatures down again where we kind of hang out. So this time of year, average highs are right about 40 degrees. So we're running. Uh, this week, kind of uh, the ups and downs, and then by the weekend, we're going to end up in the rut below average, which is actually great for the ski resorts, right? Suffering here in parts of the Northeast, cold enough for some snow making from Hunter and Killington, but as you can see, maybe at last a couple of consecutive days with sunshine. Not today, though, with wet roadways and 38 degrees at Central Park. Count on the gray skies. Also count on those winds picking up out of the north at about 10 to 20. That's going to bring our temperatures down, certainly feels like temperatures down. We'll be below freezing tomorrow morning, only in the 30s through Wednesday. By Friday, some showers move. in that's the system that knocks us back down to highs in the 30s that first week of February looking really chilly as we stay with highs in the 30s all right 517 Emily a few things happen everybody 5 30 a.m on this monday january 29th i'm michael gorgiulo thrilled to be back with you we are thrilled I'm to thrilled have to our michael you. back yes we are <laughs> i'm darlene rodriguez <laughs> emily west is in for adele nice to see you em and maria looking at this weather and it was yep. raining when he left and is raining now i know i, I know. know i wanted a picture with you holding up a newspaper with a date on it just to <laughs> right. make sure that you were okay <laughs> and life. coming back to us and yeah. then russell crowe would save me <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> uh, but yeah we have some messy weather just messy enough and breaking oh, news that? we've got some oh, snowflakes wow. flying right now in front of our camera there uh, this is a little bit too little too late as far as accumulation potential and in fact we don't have any winter weather advisories in the immediate city area we do have it for western Ulster County where we could see some accumulation but that's what we're talking about here you see the deep green on the radar so the radar is reading it as rainfall but just cold enough that we've got some flakes as it falls through uh, but from Yonkers up through Stamford you're seeing some snowflakes as well these are drifting to the south and east. There's really not much left to it. So as it exits over the next couple of hours, get out there and enjoy it while you can because it is on its way out. We'll have otherwise cloudy skies. Temperatures climbing into the low 40s this afternoon. It gets gusty, so breezy, chilly. Grab the extra heavy jacket, and then we'll slip below freezing heading into tonight. All right, 531, the snowflakes, the raindrops. It's messy, but what else is going on up yeah, there? Yeah, we got it all, you yeah. know. Uh, we'll add that to the morning commute, so you need to add a few extra moments as you do travel on. Get an overturned tractor trailer, New Jersey. Right.
say it's a little messy, just enough if you're traveling. And Danny Pryor is out live for us in your new work, showing those wet roadways or maybe some snowflakes splattering on the lens as well. This is one of those setups where it might be just a little too, little too late to accumulate too much. It's overcoming, obviously, a lot of the rain that came down yesterday, so we're not expecting it to stick, but may at times reduce visibility. So thank you for that live drive. Again, make sure your windshield wiper fluid is nice and full because it's kind of messy out there. Looking at live storm track before, we are picking up some snowflakes in and around Westchester County into Fairfield County, and yes, even in through the city, some of those uh, snowflakes. But as far as this system goes, it is winding up and out of here. And it is going to get gusty. Already you see the flags frying on the plaza. And of course, you see the glossy sidewalk there. It's damp. 38 degrees out there right now. We'll continue to see those winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the north. So it's going to keep that high temperature right about 42 feeling a little bit chilly and then by tonight we're dropping down below freezing so it's a cold start to the day tomorrow and that's where we end up tuesday and into wednesday highs only in the 30s here's the start of february not too bad mid and upper 40s the showers on friday will be mainly rain showers but it is going to tap into a lot of cold air so the first full week of February is going to be pretty chilly as we start getting entrenched in those highs in the 30s once more. All right, 5.46 now. Emily, what's going on? I'm a busy ride this morning. Of course, we're dealing with um, the wet pavement, so that's a tough one as you do have on this Monday, June 19th, Juneteenth, good morning, I'm Michael Gargiulo. Darlene Rodriguez has the morning off. Adele Caballero with a few slowdowns already on this holiday Monday. Storm <laughs> Dufour's Maria La Rosa is here with a look at today's forecast. What's going to happen there, Maria? Yeah, we're looking good. <laughs> we're, we are dealing with mostly sunny skies. It's going to be warm. It's going to be a nice June afternoon. Maybe this hour at Central Park, 63 in White Plains, 60 in Sussex, 65 in Bridgeport. You can see in the radar and satellite, nothing on the radar, not much on the satellite. We'll see a few clouds from time to time today and maybe an afternoon sprinkle. It's one of those things where you may be walking around and you think, oh, did I just get a sprinkle? That kind of activity by 10 a.m., hopefully just a sprinkle. 72 degrees with winds out of the east, going to keep coastal spots a little bit cooler. But inland, yeah, 80 degrees by 3 p.m. under partly to mostly sunny skies and then it's still into the mid and upper 70s through dinner time. Winds generally light today. All right, let's see where those slowdowns are already, Adele. What's going on? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a couple things going on, but the good news is, you know, it is expected to be a bit quieter than normal today with it being the holiday. With that said, one place you do want to steer clear of is the Cross Island Parkway. Northbound, the off ramp. Is now we do want to. Right. Uh, we have a lot of sunshine. Temperatures will be warm. It's mild now and mainly clear. 67 at Central Park. Let's take you to Connecticut right now in Stratford, where the next weekend's weather, too. And of course, today is in that 10 day forecast coming up. All right, Maria, thank you so much. As a reminder, subways will be running on a regular weekday schedule for today. Coming up in just a bit, we'll give you an update on your roadways as well. Here's the peak out there now onto the mark. Now to your subways, we've got lots of planned track work going on. On top of that, as a reminder, subways will be running on a regular weekday schedule for today. Coming up in just a bit, we'll give you an update on your roadways as well. Here's the peak out there now onto the mark. Muppets take Manhattan. Uh, obviously, first choice, right? But I think when Harry met Sally and, of course, there Sex you go. City. So, very cool. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it would be a great time to dine outside today. We do have very warm conditions and fair skies. That's what we have right now. Temperature-wise, we're into the mid and Keep it in uh, the back of your mind here. By the end of the week, are you having an outdoor wedding, an outdoor party? We've got some pretty unsettled weather that catches up with us by the end of the week. Okay, so today by the afternoon, you see a few spots of green. So I'm going to play safe and just say a passing sprinkle or two. 
Uh, that dies down when the sun comes down, goes down. But then we see tomorrow as well some more showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. So these might have a little bit more oomph to them. So that's something that we're keeping an eye on for tomorrow. But notice it's not everywhere. It's not all day. We're not expecting severe weather or anything like that. It's just uh, kind of those bubble up afternoon little sprinkles. And then, of course, by the end of the week, it's different mechanisms and it's a little bit more widespread. So enjoy today. It's pretty quiet now. It's 67 degrees, mainly clear skies, especially early on by 11 a.m. 74 degrees. A little bit of an east wind's going to keep some coastal spots a little bit cooler. So Patchogue, Admiville, you're going to be held into the mid and upper 70s, but more like the low 80s into the Hudson Valley, like Newland, though, from Sayreville uh, into Union. We're looking at closer to 80, maybe 84 for for the city, I should say for Newark, for the city up to 80 degrees. And then overnight tonight, more clouds, 63 degrees, and another chance for some showers tomorrow. I think grayer skies as well, up to 76 degrees. And just want to point out something kind of interesting happening in the tropics right now. We have two areas to watch. Days away from any potential impact on land, but where they're forming and where they're highlighted right now is unusual for this time of year. That far out on right now, if you're heading around through Queens, Cross Island Parkway and northbound. Where they're forming and where they're highlighted right now is unusual for this time of year. That far out on right now, if you're heading around through Queens, Cross Island Parkway and northbound. Cross Island Parkway and northbound. Leo's got some good news. If you are heading out this morning, so before we really roast this here, we look at today's forecast. This is a beautiful view over our late success. I know, we love those brightening skies. We are technically still gaining daylight for a couple of days. Right, a couple more days. A couple more days, and then we'll talk about losing daylight. But right now, we're at, and obviously you're watching us, maybe you're ready to head out. It's comfortable. We have Woodridge at 54, New Paltz at 56 degrees, Newburgh coming in at 61, Claraville, our spot that's dipped into the 40s this morning, 48 there. Forest Hills at 67. You saw those beautiful clear skies looking off to the east. Garden City at 66 degrees, Elizabeth now at 67. So we'll enjoy this beautiful sunshine, especially early on. Just a few clouds later on. There may be a pop-up sprinkle or two in between at, say, uh, lunchtime and late afternoon time frame, but not a washout. Otherwise, we're good. And then nice evening. Take it outside. Word improvement already. <laughs> Adele, you're seeing something uh, a little bit better. Uh, yes, you don't get to hear very often. I have good news. <laughs> um, I do have good news. We'll get to that in a second. Let's start with the bad first. We have a disabled car right now in the outer bridge crossing heading into Staten Island. It's the van first. We have a disabled car right now in the Outer Bridge crossing heading into Staten Island. It's Hi, Michael. Good morning. Uh, not much happening. We've got a lot of sun icons as we take a look at the forecast. Woodridge, New Jersey, a good example. Back up into the upper 70s, near 80 degrees, and we do see a mild day today, but after today, we get a little bit of a break. Oh, my days are a little messed up on the forecast here. But uh, we have a run at 70s, in the 70s, for the next few days. On top of that, some stormy weather, too. So I'll break it all down in the 10-day. Mary, thanks so much, Sue. That story, if you are heading out to your commute, that capture, that photograph of the kids seeing Yeah, it's that. a great picture. Oh, my gosh, that is pure joy in all its 
purity and innocence. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, let's get you ready for today. Perhaps you're starting your summer break. Yeah, the kids, if not already, wrapping up the school year the school year. We look at the camera from Midtown and it's a sure sign at 447 those skies are getting lighter. So we continue to add daylight at least for now. 15 hours and five minutes of it today. And it's a sure sign at 447 those skies are getting lighter. So we continue to add daylight at least for now. 15 hours and five minutes of it today with that sunset at 830 with that sunrise at 524. So we've got plenty of it, especially early on. Lots of sunshine temperatures right now into the mid and upper 60s, 50s outside the city. 70 degrees by 9 a.m. will be about 77 at noontime on our way up to 80 uh, later on this afternoon. A few clouds, partly sunny and maybe a passing sprinkle that should be just about it and light east winds and those east winds are going to keep the shore points a little bit cooler like the Jersey Shore from Seaside Heights to Seabright in the low 60s pushing 70 in spots low risk of rip currents today so that we love never not there so definitely always swim near guarded beaches anyway but on the lower side uh, for today from Fire Island to Southampton upper 60s today plenty of sunshine so again a few degrees cooler than inland areas uh, but pleasant and lots of sun wear that sunscreen 63 degrees overnight tonight and then tomorrow 76 should be mainly gray skies and another chance for some skies and another chance for some showers but that's what we're looking at today you see a few spots of green on my hourly uh, forecast here and then again by tomorrow afternoon some may be a little bit feistier maybe get a rumble of thunder in there through the Hudson Valley otherwise again nothing that is going to be too wild but we do make up for it by the end of the week you can see our precipitation chances really go a little bit feistier, maybe get a rumble of thunder in there through the Hudson Valley. Otherwise, again, nothing that is going to be too wild, but we do make up for it by the end of the week. You can see our precipitation chances really going up here uh, by Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And honestly, I can't even rule it out into early next week. So we start to pick up some much needed rainfall by the end of this coming weekend, maybe as much as one to two inches of rainfall, which again, a little bit feistier, maybe get a rumble of thunder in there through the Hudson Valley. Otherwise, again, nothing that is going to be too wild, but we do make up for it by the end of the week. You can see our precipitation chances really going up here uh, by Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And honestly, I can't even rule it out into early next week. So we start to pick up some much needed rainfall by the end of this coming weekend, maybe as much as one to two inches of rainfall, which again. Uh, we've got a pretty quiet start to this week, which is always a good thing. We enjoy it once we get it. If you are heading on to the outer bridge crossing here, that earlier disabled car has been cleared from the span. Delays have eased out to you. We'll be good to go through there. We're going to take another look around town here. Gowanus Expressway through Industry City, a pretty quiet ride.